following announcement has been paid for by the New World Order. <laughs> What's up, everybody? This is a fun one. I am super, super excited. I don't know if I should be because this could be awful. This could be awesome. I don't know. I'm really, really, really excited. I've been waiting for weeks for this to show up. This is the Sakuraku box. If I'm pronouncing that wrong, I apologize to anyone. I'm not trying to offend anybody. I don't very well speak Japanese. Um, but this box came straight from Japan. I will put a link down below. I have not opened it yet. The seal is still fully intact. There's a little tear because I was trying to get the label off from shipping and all that stuff. But fully sealed, ready to go, and tucked into my label told me all about all the stuff that's inside of this box. And by reading through this, there's a few of these things I'm super excited for. There's a few things I'm a little afraid of. But what do I do, guys? What do I do? One of the biggest things I do besides giant eats and eating things fast is I review things. I check things out. I see if it's worth you getting. Now, if there's anybody out there and you got some kids or anything and you wanted to get a box from around the world or from somewhere else or something and try some stuff out and everything, a lot of these snack boxes are what I recommend for people because you get such a wide variety. This thing could be really cool. So, and this is, it's for everybody. I mean, maybe this is something that you just want to try out. Maybe you want to do it at home. Maybe you want to do it with your boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife, kids, whatever the heck you want. Whole family, sit around for the holidays and, and try out some Japanese treats. Whatever you want. It's your life. You control it. Let's open it up and let's see what we got here. I don't totally remember what I paid for this, so I'm going to put it up right here. I'll look it up when I'm editing this video and see what I paid for this box. And we're going to determine if it is worth getting this box. Is it worth ordering a snack box from Japan and waiting a month for it to get to you? Let's find out. The Sakuraku box. On the inside, it says, from our families to yours, enjoy the traditional flavors of Japan together. And that's that's one of the most exciting things about this entire thing is trying out different things from around the world. This is a pretty cool little thing. We're not even into the box yet. And look at this, we got this fun little card that they send. I really like that a lot. It's a, This is their, uh, their winter box. I believe they do, if I'm correct, it's four boxes a year, one for each season. This is their winter one, so that's like a little postcard they send you. And on the back, it tell uh, on the back on the back of the card, there we go. It tells you a little bit of history and stuff about the family and and the box and all that. I'm not going to read the entire thing to you, but I will probably put a picture of it up, so that if anybody wanted to zoom in and read it, it's actually pretty cool. There's a lot of really neat stuff on here, and it explains a little bit more about the holidays in Hokkaido. Again, don't quote me. My Japanese is not good. I, I know very, very little. All right, next, we have a little booklet here. Holidays on, in Hokkaido. Again, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All right, so this, welcome to the community, photo contest, Oh, this is actually going to tell us more detail about each of the things that we're eating. Okay, so this might be kind of a long video because I'm going to have to flip through this and check things out. So, if you're sticking with me through this whole thing, thank you in advance for this. Please like, follow, subscribe, check it out, tell people about Snacks from Japan! Eh, this is a fun little thing where it says if you leave a review, you could win free stuff. Don't really care too much about that. I... I Again, did not prepare myself for the garbage. Mm, I do that too often in my videos. That's okay. All right. Oh. All right, so there may be things in here that I may not be able to review right now that I'm, I'm realizing as I didn't read through everything that's coming in this box. But this is pretty cool. We got some Shizoka green tea. These are two different green teas. I believe they're the same actually, but yeah, two green teas. So obviously I'm not gonna stop the video and go 
boil some water and make some hot tea. But I love tea and I love green tea. So I'm really excited to try these. So two of those are in there right away. And again, uh, we'll figure out if this is worth getting in the future and if it's worth the quality of, of what we find in here. There's a lot of stuff in here, guys. They crammed a lot in here. It really makes me wonder what I paid for this. It really does. They're, it's gonna be really hard because a lot of this stuff is in Japanese too, so. All right, well, let's just do this. Let's do this. We're gonna start on page one. And we're gonna see if we can find the items and try them. All right, we got it. Our first one, we have the Hokkaido Butter Cookie. It says common allergies, wheat, dairy, soy, and egg may contain traces of non-applicable. And yes, vegetarian friendly. Uh, it gives you a little bit of detail about each of the things, of course, but again, I'm not going to bore you guys with all the details. This video is going to be long enough as it is. I don't think you need me giving you that much. All right, butter cookie. Great. Simple. Very, very simple. Super tasty. It's super simple. It's like, you know, okay, so this is actually a really good comparison because this is their winter box Christmas right around the corner. It reminds me of those tins of cookies that you get. that are the butter cookies in the tin with the different designs and stuff on them. You know what I'm talking about. I know you do. It tastes like those, but fresher. They're not as dry. They're not as flaky. All right. This is what I'm a little worried about. Uh, all, right. all right. Let's find it. Here we go. There's two of them in here, it looks like. Maybe more. I don't know. I haven't gone through the whole thing. So we're going to try one of them. We'll leave the other one. Wasabi pistachios. Wasabi pistachios. I am not a wasabi guy. I don't mind a little wasabi when I'm having like my sushi or something. You know, mix it with your soy sauce and all that. But, and I love pistachios. Love pistachios. Try one out. Ooh. Wow. Woo. Those are horseradish. Wow. Holy crap. They're not like, it's not that they're spicy necessarily or anything, but boy, you get that wasabi strong. Really, really, really strong. It's like a wasabi candy on the outside of the pistachios. They're good. They're good. They're strong, but they're good. Um, sorry, step back. Butter cookie, 7.6 out of 10. Wasabi pistachios, I'll give them like a 5 out of 10, only because that that is really, really in your face. Just wow. If you love wasabi, those might become like an 8. But for me, somebody who's not the biggest wasabi guy, I got I to lower it down a little bit. I'm sorry. Next, I expected this one actually to be, yeah, I expected this to be a sucker, so I wasn't actually going to do it, but it's not a sucker. Looks just like one. Looks like it should be a sucker. Muscat Fruit Jelly. Contains traces of peach and apple. Allergens are non-applicable. Vegetarian friendly. So apparently this comes from the Muscat grape from Okiyama. I'm actually kind of excited for this now. So here it is unwrapped. Looks kind of like a bundle of grapes. But again, I thought this was going to be a sucker and it's a, it's a gummy, which is very interesting. I expect a gummy to be loose in a bag or something.
super, super mellow taste, but refreshing, juicy. That's incredible. That is very interesting. For a gummy candy on a stick, I mean, that thing's easily an eight. I mean, it's not artificial grape, it's real grape. I mean, that is out of this world, it's delicious. Really, really, really like that a lot. We're gonna move on to one that I don't, I don't even know what it could be. I mean, it says what it is and it's explaining what it is, but I'm not, I don't understand, I guess. And again, maybe it's just because I don't really know the Japanese culture that well. I think this is it. I'm pretty sure this is it. It's in this box. Oh, another butter cookie. That's exciting. So there's two of each of the butter cookie and the pistachios. Only one of the sucker. I don't know what's in here. I'm only checking to make sure that I'm not missing the page that I'm on. I won't necessarily eat this one right now. Oh. Yeah, I will not eat that right now. We'll come back to that. All right, so this must be this then. Again, you know, it's hard to tell with some of these things because it's in all Japanese, and I don't know Japanese. So this is the Okinawan Salt Daifuku. This is Okinawan Salt kneaded into a dough with a sweet bean paste filling. So it's kind of like a mochi. It's kind of like a mochi. They're individually wrapped, which I love. There's a lot of them. There's a ton in here. The smell is interesting. It smells very interesting. They're super soft, gooey, gummy. Oh, this is very interesting. Oh. Hmm. The sweet with the dough, and the sweet of the bean paste, and then the salty of the Okinawan salt. Those are interesting. Texturally, they're kind of a mess. The soft on soft on soft. I wasn't sure how I felt about the bean paste. That's really good. That's actually really good. I mean, it's not the greatest thing I've ever had. But it's sweet, salty, and savory all at the same time, which is really interesting. Very similar to a mochi. I got to take a couple of points off just for texture alone because it is. It's, it's just soft on soft on soft. So I'm going to have to give that maybe a 7.2. But they're good. They're interesting. That's definitely a fun one if you were to sit down with the family and try some stuff out. Very cool. I like that. Next, I'm actually really excited for this. This is actually really cool. What do we got here? So apparently, if I'm reading this right, but there, this is really interesting. I, what are you guys doing over in Japan? This is very, if there's anybody on my channel, anybody that follows, anybody that is watching this video, if you've been to Japan, tell me more about how they do some of this stuff or something. Somebody tell me, because this is really interesting. This is white chocolate fruit, strawberry edition. Okay. And it looks like it's just a freeze dried strawberry in the picture on, on, on my book here. But here's where it's interesting. So it says, these decadent strawberries blend the gentle sweetness of white chocolate with the tartness of fruit. They soak the strawberry in white chocolate, creating an irresistible dance of flavors. Now, me telling you that, you would assume that this is just white chocolate and strawberry. That's really all it needs to be, but here's the interesting part. Now, granted, I'm sure that part of this is the fact that it's like when you buy something that says that's made in a building that has pe uh, peanuts or whatever. The, the item may not make sense that it has a trace of peanut, but it's because it's made in the same factory. And I'm sure that's what this is. But this is so interesting to read. 
may contain traces of, mind you, this is a strawberry and white chocolate, may contain traces of crab, shrimp, wheat, eggs, peanuts, almonds, squid, orange, cashews, kiwi, walnut, sesame, mackerel, banana, peach, yam, apple, chicken, pork, and gelatin. All for a strawberry? Oh, wow. Wow. That is literally like a freeze-dried strawberry soaked into white chocolate. Oh, wow. That is a ton of white chocolate. Holy crap. You can tell that used to be a real strawberry. You get the white chocolate. Something so simple. That is a 9 out of 10. There's nothing more I can say about it. It's super simple. It is a strawberry and white chocolate. But unless you taste it, you're not going to understand why I'm rating it so high. It had like the bite of a really good chocolate bar, the freshness of the fruit. Uh, it's it's aromatic. I mean, it's everything that you wanted it to be plus some. That is phenomenal. I'm blown away by that one. Okay, next we have, again, I, I, maybe I made a mistake trying to read Japanese. Yuzu Kaki no Tani. Apparently this is a spicy, savory, satisfying snack. Is that this? No. It's not this. It's not that. It's not that. There it is. I found it. Okay. So this is that right there. And it looks almost like their version of like a Chex Mix. It has some sort of crunchy noodle. It has some sort of nuts. Smells peanutty. Smells like, almost like a peanut butter. Oh, wow. The little crunchy noodles are almost like pretzel-y. There's the peanuts. The noodle pieces are, are seasoned with something spicy. The peanuts are seasoned very sweet. Everything's a little salty. It's like their version of like a Chex Mix. Only not as many items, but really fresh. Super crunchy. Also a hint of maybe like a sesame. That's really good. 7.8 out of 10. The flavors of everything are just so over the top in a good way. Here in America, we do things so over the top and it's not always in a good way. Next. These look like they're going to be what are those things called? Combos. Remember combos? You can get a pretzel or a cracker and it was filled with some sort of like cheese or something. This reminds me of them in the look. It's gonna be interesting. This is Camembert Arar. So it does, it kind of looks like a combo, but apparently it's got Camembert inside. If you are not aware, Camembert is cheese. There we have it. Little camembert does look a lot like a combo. They smell interesting. The, the camembert is hard too. They smell very interesting. I'm not sure about this one. This one is very interesting to me. Hmm. 
They're not very cheesy. No. The more you chew it, the more cheese you get. The camembert has a very sharp cheddar kind of taste to it. So it's like a crunchy, wonton -y kind of thing going on with a cheese center. That's quite tasty. Those are actually really interesting. I'm really looking forward to bringing a few of these things into work and having some people try these out because these are really interesting things. Those are maybe like, I'm a little intrigued by them. I kind of, I kind of like them. I would give those maybe a 7.4 out of 10. Not bad. Oh, please don't tell me this is going to taste like this. Okay, I don't think it's going to taste like it. Well, maybe it will. Mm. Oh, boy, I don't know. Oh, God, maybe I should have done this book backwards. Oh, boy. All right. That harmless-looking little thing right there, shaped kind of like a squid, is the Hockadate Squid Senbai. And apparently, shaped like a squid, or Ikea, it says that there are Ikea chips kneaded into the dough and it encapsulates the essence of the freshest seafood from Hokkaido. 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 Either way. This is going to taste fishy. I'm, I'm nervous. It does. It smells fishy. It looks like a rice cake. It does. It looks a lot like a rice cake. That smells fishy. Oh, I don't want to try this. Oh, I do this for you guys. Uh, for the love of God, go follow, like, subscribe, share everything right now because I'm about to eat a fish cake. Uh, oh, I don't want to do this. Oh, stop smelling it. Mm. Mm. That's going to get a negative three out of ten. Ugh. I am not a fan. That tastes like... Oh, and it smells. It smells awful. I want that thing out of here. Oh. Hold on. Let me take these things out of this box. I'm going to put all the garbage in the box, including that squid cake, because that, that's disgusting. It tastes, it smells and tastes very much like squid in a very, very not good way. Ugh. I don't think there could be a good way, honestly. I'm really not sure, but that, that thing is not, not good eats at all. I spilled a little of my, my wasabi, sorry. I make such a mess when I do these videos. There was still one more of these in here. I wasn't necessarily going to eat a butter cracker, but I need to get that taste out of my mouth. And there's a whole other pack of butter crackers. Next. Oh, look at that. I got the book. Try and close that up so I don't smell that squid. Next one. There's two of again. This is another one that I'm not sure about. Is this normal in Japan? Is this really what you guys eat in Japan? I've always wanted to go to Japan. I really have. And that hasn't changed. That has not changed at all doing this video. If anything, I still want to go there even more. Because there's so many cool things that I've never experienced in my life. Two packets of this. Fried corn snack. It literally looks like they just fried a bunch of corn. I can still smell that squid thing. That is, that's not good. So apparently this is fried corn with a sprinkle of, not even going to try and pronounce that, snow salt. 
I'm not even going to try to pronounce some of these things. It just smells like corn. Literally just smells like corn. Crispy. Very crispy. Oh! Oh! Huh! Interesting. It's like a really nice, crispy, salty corn. I thought corn could be snacky. It is. It's very much a snack. That's not something you have with your dinner. I think it's good. Five out of ten because it's just corn, but... It's good corn. History. Winter. Okay. Now. I'm going to come back to that. I'm going to come back to that. Yeah, oh, son of a bitch. Pardon my French. Why has everything got to have bean paste and stuff in it? This one really intrigues me, though. Maybe this will be good. I don't know. So this one, this is the Hokkaido Azuki cake. A delicate wafer encases sweet and refined red bean paste with Azuki beans. This cake celebrates the culinary artistry and exquisite regional ingredients from Hokkaido. I don't know why they put bean in everything. I really don't know. It smells funky. Can I get it apart without it breaking? Not really. Not really. I don't know about this. This thing smells weird. It has the feel on the outside of like rice paper almost. This thing's gonna crumble. Or maybe not. Hmm. Beans and beans and rice. It's just kind of weird for me. The, the wafer on the outside is extremely stale. Not necessarily their fault. I mean, you're shipping this from all over the place. The bean doesn't really bring a whole lot to the table. It's a little refreshing because it's cool. That could just be because it's been outside for a little while. I gotta be honest with you on that one. Probably not gonna finish it. That's maybe like a, a four out of ten. It's worth trying for sure. It's intriguing, but it's not my cup of tea. We're going to come back to this page. Okay. And here's the detail about the tea, guys. Brown rice, matcha... And some other things that I can't pronounce. Sounds like it's going to be a good tea, though. I'm actually really excited to try that. Okay, next. A lot about their winter festivals and stuff like that. A lot of really cool reading in, in this, this whole thing. I want to look, look through this afterwards and read everything. So we got a few items left here. This one... What is this, though? I didn't see this anywhere. I did not see this thing in my book. Did I completely miss it? That's that, that's that, that's that. That's that, that's that, that's that. Uh -huh. 
This is not in my book. I don't know what this is. I have no idea what this is. Hold on. I'm going to apologize again for the length of this video. Okay, according to this, brown rice, brown rice flour dough? Not very descriptive at all. There's nothing telling you really anything at all on this. It looks like some sort of crushed up candy bar, sort of. You can see the brown rice now. Ooh. Smells really good. Oh. Has a caramely, nutty, little sesame. I think there's pieces of pretzel and rice in this. That's good. That's really good. I would give that... We'll give that an 8.5. I think that's a pretty fair rating for that. 8.5 is good. Whatever that thing is, that's good. Next. Milk mochi. Doesn't really say much more. It tells you about mochi, but that's about it. all sorts of wrapped up. Oh, wow. This thing is heavily wrapped up. I can't even get into it. plastic piece because I feel like I almost have to at this point. So I'm afraid to eat too much more of this because all this plastic is really like stuck to it. But from what I got to taste of it, I'm going to try to get another piece here. It doesn't taste like anything. It tastes like nothing. It's like the outside of the mochi. But like there's no flavor there's no taste there's no nothing it was like literally eating nothing it's very creamy super creamy but there's no taste to it at all so that's a little bit of a letdown all right we're gonna go to this next i'm assuming by what i'm reading here this is gonna be pound cake this is called ooh, and I know I've said forgive me a lot in this one, but this one's going to be a tough one. Baum, Baum Kitchen? Baum Kuchen? I said that almost Germany, and that's Japan. So there's that. So this is what it looks like, but that definitely looks like pound cake. It looks a lot like pound cake. It feels super soft and spongy like a pound cake. It talks about how there's eggs and stuff in it, but it, it looks very much like it's going to be a pound cake. A Japanese pound cake, I guess. It smells like a very sweet pound cake. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it, but there are layers. Layers and layers and layers of this. Ooh! That is by far the best piece of pound cake I have ever eaten in my life. Wow. 10. 10 out of 10. Hands down. That's delicious. That is the best pound cake I have ever had in my life. That's good. I'm not bringing this to work. That's staying with me. That's out of this world. That's delicious. Mm, that's good. 
I'm gonna find the other one now. Okay. The last of our treats here is the milk and chocolate cookie. Mm -hmm. There we go. Milk and chocolate cookie. I'm gonna open this over the box because I think it's gonna crumble a little bit. That did, but that's okay. There we go. Little cookie. Milk and chocolate cookie. Must be a white chocolate, I assume. Now that, guys, that's good. That is really, really good. That is like... It's like a Milano cookie. But way better. That's a 10 also. I mean, that's... I wish I had a whole box of those. That is delicious. It is sweet, but it's not too sweet. It's milky. It's creamy. You get that white chocolate, but it's not like chocolate in your face. That's delicious. Really, really like that a lot. Finally, guys, I know I said that's the last thing to eat. I still have this. Now, this is pretty cool because this is for their snack box. <laughs> They always apparently send you something. And apparently this is from what I'm reading here. They send you something that has to do with the box. So if there was one that was very summery, I assume maybe there would be some sort of like uh, a nice crafted cup of some sorts or something to like put your teas in or something. I don't really know for sure. But this comes with the indigo using dish now they obviously send you a little dish so you can put your snacks on there and have a little sampler and try things out and i love that this thing is cool this thing is beautiful oh dear god my heart raced a little bit there but again as you can see the irony of me dropping this actually is how they make it it says here that this is made with a patchwork design by taking a bunch of pottery and they break all their pottery basically. And then they piece by piece with a, with gold color lines and gold dusted lacquer, they then tell a story by putting all these pieces together to make a new bowl. So each one of these is gonna be different. They're handcrafted. It's beautiful, made in Japan, and it's a cute little dish to put a couple of snacks on and pass around to your friends. I love this. Absolutely love this. That takes the value of this box up really high because I feel like that's priceless. It really is. That is, that is absolutely priceless. You have some really cool, amazing, fun treats to try. You have a cute little dish you can put it on. You have a wonderful little Christmas card they send you. You really can't go wrong with this. I, I got to look again, like I said, and see how much this cost. But I'm going to say without knowing what it cost, this is totally worth doing. This was fun. This was very fun. Even for the couple items that I didn't personally love, it may be something that you love. So I would say for the family or for a couple's activity or something, totally 100% worth it. Definitely buy it. I'll put the link down below. You get yourself, I mean, a lot of these things come in twos. So you get yourself a couple of cups, some hot water. You make yourself some tea. You try out all these different snacks on your little plate and everything. You read through your book. This could be a very fun thing. This would be a really exciting little thing to do. I actually really love this. This was a really fun treat. This was not something like some of the snack boxes that you get are so huge that like if I were to try and eat everything, I don't know what I'd be able to get through. It'd be a difficult challenge. This is not a massive amount of food. This is not an ungodly amount of food. There's nothing heavy. These are all very light things. These are all really, really nice. You could sit down and watch a movie with this little box and snack on some of these things on this little tin. 
maybe your tea and just enjoy yourself. And there's a really, really nice thing going on here. And I think they pre presented us with a beautiful box that really shows and showcases some of the greatest things that they have to offer and all the unique things that they have to offer. There is nothing like any of these here in America, nothing like these. I mean, even just deep fried corn was just so incredible. The pound cake, something so simple, something so basic was elegant, fluffy, sweet, delightful, moist. I highly recommend this box. Highly, highly, highly recommend this box. I actually want to get another one to see what else they're going to send for stuff like this even. Like, yeah, the snacks are awesome, but collectibles from Japan is a whole nother thing. I mean, this is really, really neat. This is a style I've never seen before. Blue is my favorite color. That is awesome. I love this box. Overall, between tastes and all that stuff and what they send you and everything, I'm going to say yes, hands down. Uh, out of 10, I would say this is a 9 out of 10. I mean, the value is hard to put on something like this. I can't tell you, you know, with how much I spend. Say this box was 50 bucks. This alone could cost you 50 bucks. I mean, this is authentic Japanese work here. This is not just some little plate you got at the dollar store. So, honestly, I would say the value is more than worth it. You get two things of tea. You get a ton of snacks and cookies and all sorts of good stuff. And you get the dish and you get the artwork. I would say more than worth it. Absolutely more than worth it. I would try this out for sure. Guys, this video has been long enough. We're going to cut it short. Thank you so much. Please like, subscribe, follow, join me for more. Do you want to see some more snacks from around the world? Should I get one more of these boxes and try another one out in a few months? I think I might. They only come four a year, so why not do another one and see what the spring one's going to be like? Huh? Let's give it a shot. Let's find out. Let's see how cool these are going to be based on what seasons that they choose. Let's go with it. That's it for this video, guys. Thank you so much. I appreciate all of you. We'll see you next time.